In honor of it being sweltering hot for the last 30 days straight, and because I do enjoy reasonably spicy food, we are setting out today to find out what is the hottest chicken wing that Florence has to offer. And the rules to today's contest were quite simple. Number one, you had to be a restaurant that specializes in chicken and or chicken wings, and you had to have a wing flavor option that exceeded hot on your menu. Now, to my surprise, there were not a lot of restaurants that actually met these qualifications. And so we found five wing restaurants in Florence, and actually one was in Darlington, that met these criteria. And I can almost assure you that a wing flavor that's labeled merely hot is not going to be able to compete with the items I have in front of me here today. Because here in about two minutes, it's probably going to be extremely bad news for me, as we have some ridiculously hot, supposedly wing flavors to try today. Now the rules of the contest for those that made the cut are also quite simple. I'm going to eat two entire wings, one flat, one drum, and then give a minute for the burn to settle in because sometimes with certain hot sauces, the heat has to build. And then I will give my thoughts. And after that, I will cleanse my palate and move on to the next one. And we will rank these today. So let's start with contestant number one. And this is our Darlington contestant. And what I have right here are six wings from SC House of Wings on Pearl Street in Darlington, and their hottest wing flavor is Carolina Reapers. So this should be a fantastic time. Ah. So basically what these smell like is if you took a bottle of Frank's Red Hot Sauce and you were to pour it in the bottom of a campfire, that's what these smell like. All right, here we go. SC House of Wings, uh, Carolina Reaper Wing. All right, let's eat the second one before I make any commentary here. Okay, let's discuss. Gotta say, honestly, a little disappointed. Now, I will say that that's a heat that builds a little bit. So if you had like 12 of these, they're going to get hotter over time. But with a name like SC House of Wings, out of this whole bunch, the only title of Carolina Reaper, which from somebody who has eaten... Carolina Reapers, I can tell you that that is not nearly, not nearly as hot as I thought it was going to be. So right now, SC House of Wings, you are in first place for the hottest wing, but it's because you're the only one that we've had. A good chicken wing, though. I actually, like, honestly, because I do like spicy food, and it's the only wing I've ever had from them, there's a really good chance that this would be my go-to order, would be this wing, actually. But what we're looking for today is something that is unbearably hot, that there's absolutely no reason you should ever order it to eat casually. That wing is um, in first place for now. Don't, don't think it's going to end there. Next on our list is East Coast Wings and Grill. Now, these are actually the freshest ones out of the bunch. This is the last one that I picked up, just by the way. They don't like they have any sauce on them at all, though. So... I'm not sure, but their hottest sauce is insane, is what it's called. It's supposed to be a ghost pepper infused or based sauce. Now, ghost pepper is actually my favorite pepper, ghost pepper and jalapeno. Well, I'm going to be the judge of this. So let's see. East Coast Wings and Grills, insane sauce, ghost pepper wing. There it is. Oh. <coughs> okay. Whoa. <coughs> Whoa. Okay. East Coast Wings and Grill, uh, insane sauce, ladies and gentlemen. Moving to the front of the line immediately. Now, the problem is they didn't get a lot of sauce on the wing. And I'm not really complaining about that because the fact of the matter is that was significantly hotter than SC House of Wings Carolina Reaper. For those of you that don't know... A Carolina Reaper pepper is not, or excuse me, is hotter than a ghost pepper in the real world. Without a doubt, that is hotter. 
And had those actually been sauced, that would have been difficult to navigate. Basically what that one tastes like is if you ever saw like, um, like if you ever slow cooked a hog or some kind of meat where you slow cook meat with coals and you've ever looked at the coals down at the bottom of the pit, whatever you're cooking in. Basically, if you were to take a giant spoonful of those coals and just gently set them on your tongue and close your mouth, uh, that's pretty much what that wing tastes like. Either that or it basically tastes like fume gas. Okay, so East Coast Wings and Grills Insane Sauce is definitely hot, currently in first place out of our two contestants, and it tastes like fumes. All right, next, Zaxby's. Now, let me tell you a little background story real quick about this, also to buy myself some time. Coming into this, I thought there was a chance that Zaxby's could win this entire contest because little did I know, Zaxby's discontinued their insane sauce in 2022. So these wings are their nuclear sauce because I didn't want to X them off the list. They still qualified. But I've had nuclear sauce. In fact, nuclear sauce is my go-to sauce at Zaxby's. These are nuclear sauce wings from Zaxby's. And um, let's see. I'm trying to kill some of the burn off from the last one because I don't want these to get an unfair advantage while I still burn from the East Coast wings. Okay, we're good. All right. Zaxby's nuclear wings. I always find Zaxby's wings to be a bit soggy. So the cook is not as good as the East Coast wing. But as far as for the experience, this is just overall generally a much better experience than what I just went through. Compared to what I just ate, this tastes like ketchup. I'm not kidding you. I'm getting 100% ketchup covered wing. Interesting, but in comparison to what we just had and even the one prior, no kidding, Zaxby's nuclear sauce doesn't even have detectable heat. So the restaurant that I thought could possibly win today is right now securely in last place. And there's a good chance that's where they're going to finish. No need to wait to go to the next one after that. Next is going to be a place that I've never been, a place that was recommended for wings in our Facebook group. This is Why Not Wings on Evan Street in the old uh, Quiznos location from back in the day. And right off the rip, these smell like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or perhaps some sort of Asian stir fry. I don't have high expectations for these. Their hottest level was extra hot. Extra hot doesn't sound very intimidating when you're eating ghost pepper and Carolina Reaper and nuclear and insane and things like that. But hey, could be wrong. As I suspected, and actually I'm a little shocked and surprised, more so than I expected, the heat level on this wing is almost undetectable. I, I didn't anticipate that. I really didn't. Now, is it possible that the insane ghost pepper wing from East Coast Wings and Grill has set the bar so high that my palate can't even pick up on these other wings now? That's possible. But trust me, that does not negate the fact that there is a major difference in the heat level in these two wings. So uh, I do think this one's probably got a little bit more heat than the Zaxby's wing, but not much, not much. And there's really actually a big gap in between these two at the moment. And these two really aren't very close either, but there's definitely a big gap here. And there's also a gap here. But this one at least has detectable heat, for sure. It's a hot wing. These are, may as well be called mild. Okay, now this was the only wing where when I was at the register, the girl said, I don't know how you eat those. This is Buffalo Wild Wings blazing wings, but I'm gonna be honest with you. These smell like honey barbecue and they look like honey barbecue. So much so that I, I almost am expecting that they got my order wrong. I've had blazing, I thought, one time, but they may have changed sauces. This was a while back, and I recall it not being that bad, but I don't recall it looking like honey barbecue or smelling like honey barbecue. So I don't know if they changed the sauce. I don't know what's going on. Here's to hoping that they did not get my order wrong at Buffalo Wild Wings. They clearly have the right sticker on the box. We'll see. I think what's throwing me off, it looks like honey barbecue, and it does smell like honey barbecue, but then at the same time, there's also a slight hint of the smell of fire. So 
I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Buffalo Wild Wings Blazing Knockout Chicken Wings. Okay. There it is. <clears throat> ah. <coughs> okay, yeah. See, that's why we ate two wings. Okay. Okay. I was wondering for a minute there. Woo. Okay. Uh... Wow. For a minute, for a minute, it seemed as if that wing wasn't going to be hot at all. And then it came out of the back end. And it came on with a vengeance. Yeah, uh, okay. So for whatever reason, if you're not used to eating spicy things, some things hit immediately. And some take a little while to build up. That definitely has to build, but it does build. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither were Buffalo Wild Wings blazing knockout wings. Wow, okay. Wow, this is tough. Okay. I think, uh, okay, yeah, here we go. I got it. You can see how these wings are sauced, right? I mean, there's so much sauce on there that I thought I had honey barbecue wings. Barbecue being notoriously, like, thick, you know? And, uh, basically, that first wing started off almost, almost undetectable. I mean, it was right around the same heat level as this one. And then all of a sudden... Seemingly out of nowhere, halfway through the second wing, it kicked in. Uh, and then it just kept growing. So, <coughs> I feel like if this wing was properly sauced, I'm sweating. I'm sweating and my nose is running. I feel like if this wing from East Coast was properly sauced, it probably would remain in the number one spot. But due to the fact that majority of the wings in that box are essentially just fried chicken wings, they're almost sauceless. I'm gonna have to move this wing to second and I am gonna have to give the number one spot to Buffalo Wild Wings. Blazing Knockout uh, wing sauce. Whoa, yeah. Absolutely. So let's just recap some things real quick. Perhaps it was because of the comparison, but why not wings and Zaxby's were almost undetectable in heat. Uh, the heat was unrecognizable. As far as for an enjoyable wing for somebody that does like spicy food, SC House of Wings Carolina Reaper wing, I actually found very enjoyable. I ate two and uh, it certainly didn't do what Buffalo Wild Wings did. I could say maybe if you ate three, four, five, six of these wings, perhaps the heat level would start to become a little bit obnoxious. But um, overall, for me, that was a really good chicken wing all the way around the board. These two were in a class of their own. East Coast Wings and Grills Insane Wings and Buffalo Wild Wings Blazing Knockout Wings. There's no reason you should ever eat these unless you're doing something like this. I can't imagine that somebody is going to one of these restaurants to watch a football game and casually having a plate of these wings. <laughs> I can't see that. They're in a league of their own heat-wise. They pass that threshold where the heat level becomes obnoxious, perhaps even unbearable. And I think they're about equal, honestly. I do think that if the East Coast Wings and Grill had been sauced to the level that this one was, it's quite possible. As a matter of fact, it's very likely 
that this would have been in first place. This could have quite possibly been an unbearable wing to eat if it had been adequately sauced. Uh, just as a side note, while we're here, I actually found Why Not Wings possibly was the best overall wing that I had. Um, this is the first time I've ever had them, and I could see me going back and probably ordering their extra hot wings again because if that's the hottest they've got, then so be it. Zaxby's wings are too soggy. Buffalo Wild Wings are on steroids, uh, and that's always a negative for me. This wing was really pretty solid. Really, all three of these in the middle as far as the cook goes and the quality of the wing itself, I really enjoyed the most, these three. And I would say probably Why Not Wings the most of the five. But we're not here to rank that. That's a whole different subject. We were here to rank heat. We'll call these June 24 in South Carolina. Or maybe this was June. Who knows what we have in store in July and August. Perhaps these will be July and August and we won't see any of you outside. With that being said, there you have it, folks. In honor of summer 2024 in South Carolina, we have ranked the hottest wings in Florence and Darlington. And Buffalo Wild Wings has come out on top. East Coast Wings and Grill is a very, very, very close, almost tied for first, second place. SC House of Wings comes in at a secure third. And then Why Not Wings and Zaxby's are bringing up the rear in fourth and fifth as almost equals on heat level. I hope this helps you along on your journey to find hot wings in Florence. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. And God willing, we will continue moving along and figuring out what Florence has to offer in terms of food and perhaps even beyond. And so with that being said, I'm going to actually say this was a disappointment. I really thought that um, I knew what I was getting with the nuclear wings from Zaxby's. Uh, so I kind of knew, you know, but even that was really not nearly as hot as I remember Zaxby's nuclear sauce. It's been a while since I've been to Zaxby's. Uh, don't know what happened there. These four were all a mystery with the exception of this one. And that, I don't know what was going on that night. We were at Buffalo Wild Wings. And the friends of mine that were with me that night that may quite possibly watch this video, y'all were there. Y'all know I flew through those wings. Uh, this is, this is not that. I don't know what I had that night. That was definitely four or five years ago. So I'm not really sure. But, um... I don't see me banging through six of those cool, calm, and collective. These were what I thought everything was going to be, especially this one. When you put Carolina Reaper on your wing, oh boy, it got on my nose. But I'm expecting it, when you put Carolina Reaper on there, to be unbearable. Absolutely obnoxious. So, didn't get that. I love y'all. Please don't hurt yourself with any wing that's hotter than what you know your tolerance to be or what you're comfortable eating. Uh, just just don't do that. There's really no need to eat these, okay? Unless you eat hot stuff for fun and, like, you want to do something like what we're doing here today, there, there's no reason to ever eat these. It's just the truth. They got plenty of other great wing flavors at both of those establishments. With that being said, y'all take care. Y'all stay cool out there, and we'll see you on the next video.